Awesome. You know, I didn't know enough, just like his mom. We didn't know enough to have reservations, to be honest. He did a great job of explaining it to us. Today we're going to be looking at how a 12-year-old built a nuclear fusion reactor by Guinness World Records. I think when I was 12, I was playing with Legos and video games. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry. From engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Let's see. This equipment produces radiation when energy. That's a good safety label. It's the standard yellow and uh, magenta. Building a fuser is a very dangerous process, mostly because of the high electricity. Okay, so he's mentioned a fuser. So that is not the same thing as a fusion reactor. So a fuser is a much smaller device that uses electric fields to heat and confine plasma to create conditions where fusion reactions can occur. Though it's mainly a demonstration device, they can cause fusion. They can produce small amounts of uh, neutrons, which is a clear indication that fusion reactions are occurring, but they're going to consume far more energy than they produce. So they're not a, rea a fusion reactor in the sense of something that's going to uh, power your house or cities or anything, really. Whereas a fusion reactor produces sustained energy positive fusion, you're producing far more energy than what you put into it. Large scale use, magnetic confinement or inertial confinement on a massive scale that's used in the reactor. Certain precautions need to be taken, such as wearing dead. gloves that shield me from high electricity. Now don't take what I said wrong. This is extremely, extremely impressive, especially for a 12-year-old. The temperature in my fuser varies, but it's Love approximately 100 million degrees. It's 100 million degrees for something that's teeny, teeny small, because the head of a pin that's 100 million degrees is going to burn you from quite a big distance away. <laughs> So, not much of this apparatus is 100 million degrees, a very tiny, tiny portion of it. My name is Jackson Warning. Oswald, and my again Warning for x-ray. Again, neutrons, probably the bigger hazard, but I doubt he's making very many of them. But if you're going to make it at scale in a fusion reactor, you're going to need to be well shielded against neutrons from pretty big layers of concrete. This world records title is the youngest person to build a nuclear fusion reactor. I have a problem with that statement. They really just need to use the term fusor because really what we're talking is brief isolated fusion reactions, not a sustained fusion reactor. It's a demonstration source, could also be a really weak neutron source, but we're not talking fusion reactor prototypes even. I'm okay with saying the youngest person to do fusion, but not nuclear fusion reactor. But again, this kid, super impressive. Like that understanding of physics, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, um, vacuum systems, because it's done at a near vacuum. An exceptional hands-on skill to build stuff like that. Yeah, I think the best thing I built when I was 12 was uh, Legos. <laughs> and I love his passion to nuclear science at that age. As, as a nuclear engineer, this truly warms my heart. So as a kid, I've always been interested in building things. And when I was younger, I always worked in my grandfather's wood shop, building little figurines Ooh. and things like that. And all of that creativity. And he's got the classic look to it to this guy's awesome eventually led up to building something like this so i'm looking at this video description uh, it says four years ago i wonder what he's up to now i've been interested in nuclear physics for about three years now and my fascination probably started when i saw an article on taylor wilson who is the previous youngest person to build a nuclear fusion reactor at age 14. again we're talking fusers but still awesome essentially the it. difference between nuclear fusion Competitive nature as a kid and passion for science. This is amazing. Fusion and nuclear fission is that fusion is combining two things, whereas fission is the splitting apart of an atom. Yeah. I have been able to use electricity to accelerate two atoms of deuterium together so that they fuse into an atom of helium-3 and also release a neutron, which can be used to heat up water and turn a steam engine, which in turn produces electricity. So he's talking deuterium-deuterium fusion. Um, you could scale that up. Conceivably, there's other ways to do it, say deuterium tritium. I know um, ITER is going to use deuterium tritium fusion, and one advantage is it can be done at a relatively low temperature at scale. So that you can make it scale at 100 million Kelvin. Deuterium tritium also produces about 17 MeV per event, compared to only 3.3 from deuterium deuterium, but it's not impossible to, to make it that way. 
So I'm going to be demonstrating what's called a demo run. So I won't be doing full on fusion, but I'll still be creating a plasma full within the chamber fusion. here. And the first step to doing that is turning on this pump here, which will remove most of the air. And that takes about that 10 to 15 pump. minutes yeah. for it to do its job completely. I've been working on this What's project this for setup? about two years and about a year and a half to originally It's very clean. Really achieve fusion. This project was very complicated. I'd say the hardest part was figuring out how to make the seal airtight on the chamber. So I spent about probably half a year trying to get the seal correct so that it wouldn't leak out air. So once this pump has done its job, you then I turn really on this back pump here. back here. This is called a turbo molecular pump. What the turbo molecular pump does is it removes the last tiny bit of air needed to be removed so that fusion can occur. It spins up to 10 times faster than a jet turbine does. There are definitely some parts of my project oh. where my parents were definitely questioning whether or not they should keep giving me funding to do this. There were a few moments during the project that I had some... <laughs> oh, this is mom. I thought I was about to say Jackson's investor. <laughs> That's Some awesome. reservations. I would definitely be Googling things before he turned on various stages. Forget your lemonade stand. I'm going to make a fuser. That's awesome. You know, I didn't know enough, just like his mom. We didn't know enough to have reservations, to be honest. He did a great job of explaining it to us and all the precautions. Y'all are very trusting parents. I appreciate that. And why it was safe. And so I ultimately ended up trusting him. Once that air has been removed, I add back a tiny bit of gas in the form of... Though, considering how, you know, professional, responsible this kid is, he probably gave them a pretty good um, investment proposal. Deuterium. Deuterium is an isotope of hydrogen. An isotope means a type, so it's just a different variation of, the, of hydrogen. Alright, so now the pump things, has removed most of the air from the chamber, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the electricity to create a plasma. So as you can see, a plasma that looks like a glowing ball of light there has been created it. inside of the chamber. And if I were going on a fusion run, so I was actually attempting fusion, I would now add some of the deuterium gas, which is the fuel. I achieved this record when I was 12 years old. So as a young child, like most kids in my school, we all love the Guinness World Records book. Youngest person achieved nuclear fusion. Um, I'm okay with that as the title as opposed to to make a fusion reactor because of just what reactor means. But to achieve fusion, yes. And that, again, his achievement, very impressive. It's testament to his skill as an engineer. And wherever he's at now or whatever he will be in the future, I mean, what he did is nothing short of extraordinary, especially for someone that young. So I'm okay with that title as opposed to youngest person to make a fusion reactor. Because as far as building the first self-sustaining fusion reactor that's going to power cities now, well, the youngest person would be the same as the oldest person, because nobody's done that yet. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> at our school library, so we would all go down there and check them out every day. That's awesome. It feels great to be a Guinness World Records title holder. Congratulations, buddy. Hopefully nuclear fusion will be cost effective and a great source of energy that helps us stop climate change. Maybe if we start the clock from 20 years away from when this happened, Maybe this guy with more resources, more knowledge, and more t and a bigger team could pull something off like this. Who knows? It feels good to see younger people passionate about fusion or nuclear energy or science and engineering in general. So in the future, I'd like to open an organization that provides funding to kids like myself that aren't necessarily as fortunate as I am to have the funding to do something like this. So anyone that has the That's interest and the idea and the talent to do something like this, I'd love to be able to be the reason they're able to do it. That's awesome. Thanks so much for the recommendation and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.